The Cincinnati Bearcats. We're going alphabetically. Okay, I was curious how we were going to start this yes. thing. Alphabetically, because obviously Cincinnati is the favorite to win the conference. Uh, their odds right now minus two twenty five to win the conference. Uh, there are no divisions right now. Obviously, right. they they lost UConn. Have not added anybody as of yet. As it sits, there is a conference championship game, but it's not divisions. So it's just the two best teams in the conference. Minus two twenty five to win. Their win total sits at ten. The over and under are both juiced at minus one fifteen. Um, Looking at the preseason numbers, the analytics and whatnot, they're going to be favored in every game. As of right now, I think that they won't be favored by the time we get to Notre Dame. I was about to say, I think the Notre Dame game, they probably won't be favored. And if they are, I mean, it's it's a half point, a point, maybe. Um, you know, But yeah, every other game, there's no reason, as of right now, for anyone to think those other teams are better than them. The offense starts with quarterback Desmond Ritter. Uh, he gets back four of his top five wide receivers, three offensive linemen return. Uh, Jerome Ford, the running back, is coming back. Uh, they should improve on offense, which yep. is crazy because they took a giant leap forward last year. Ritter is a much better quarterback R- now. R- Ritter's one of the best quarterbacks in the country. Yes. yes. And last is. year he didn't get, I don't think, the recognition that he deserved, mainly because people don't want to credit these Smaller schools, and they see Cincinnati as that. Um, he absolutely deserves it. Yes, he he lit it up last year. He the passing and running and running. Yeah, yeah it was just yeah. absurd stats. Uh, defense going to be led by my Jay Sanders and uh, in the the defensive line there. I mean, this kid is unbelievable. Uh, they've had over thirty sacks in each of the last three seasons. That is going to continue. They are aggressive, even without uh, Freeman, the defense coordinator that left to go over to Notre Dame. This is still a lot of a, a Luke Fickle character-defined defense. That's right. right? So, And I, I think they will continue on. Schedule sets up perfectly. Their toughest games are preceded by bad teams or buys. If you look at it, they play Murray State before they play at Indiana. They have a bye before they play at Notre Dame. They play Temple before they play UCF. Um, you know, it's just it, it, it sets up perfectly for them to have a good I, run this year. I understand they play Temple before UCF, but that Temple game comes between Notre Dame and and UCF. I think, I think basically they're going to play Indiana, Notre Dame, Temple, UCF. Man, that that is going to be a three game out of four game run. Yeah, I mean it's going to be tough, it, it, but this is not the same Temple that we're used to. No, no, right? I'm not saying Temple is anything that we're used to. I'm just saying you still have to prepare for an opponent. You can't oh, yes. overlook anybody. And and you're coming off of what is either going to be a the biggest win in school history and Notre Dame if they win that game, or a, a heartbreaking and super deflating loss at Notre Dame. Yep. Um, I, I don't think that just the week of Temple is going to make it okay to get ready for what Gus Malzahn has in store at I'll Central agree. Florida. Now I, I will say this: I do think that they can beat Temple. And Murray State without giving their their complete A plus game. Oh no, yeah, it's, and that's, that's I'm not where worried I'm about Temple. This. Once yeah. again, this is playing Temple before UCF is is not is not what it normally would be because it's going to be coming off of Notre Dame. Yes, um, the road schedule in conference at Navy at Tulane at USF at East Carolina again. Probably could not have set that up any better. They get to yeah. dodge Memphis this year. Yep. Um, I think they probably would have handled Memphis anyway. I was, I was just about to say, man, but I think they'd handle Memphis anyway. You get SMU, Tulsa, UCF, uh, all at home. I mean, it's. I, I like the schedule this year. I really like the schedule. So, with that said, uh, you're going over or under? I'm going over. I don't think there's two losses on this schedule. I don't think so either. I'm going over the 10. Yeah, um, I don't think there's two losses on the schedule at all. I don't. I, I think there's a world where they can they can go undefeated. Oh, I think so as well. Uh, SP Plus has them projected at 10-2. and two. Uh, FPI has them projected at 9.7-3. and three. FPI is including the conference championship game. No. Uh, they were 9-1 and one last year. They were 11-3 and three the year before that. I'm, I'm going over the 10. Like, I, I think that this is a, a team that could absolutely go undefeated this year. Absolutely. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, 
at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.